Let's go. <laughs> Johnson leads the UC Davis team and has been hunting viruses around the globe for decades. We were headed to an abandoned mine shaft to look for bats. Johnson told us bats are prime suspects for spillover. They harbor more viruses lethal to humans than any other mammal. New bat species and new viruses are still being discovered. It seems like a really daunting task for you to find Pathogen X before it finds us. It's definitely achievable. But it, it is does. achievable. Absolutely. It's all here right now, right? It's not like we're exploring outer space. All of these viruses and, and, and all of the wildlife are right here on our planet. The bats would start flying at dusk. We waited as the UC Davis team and their Ugandan partners hung a fine mesh net across the entrance of the cave. We wore masks and goggles to protect ourselves against any early risers. Bernard Sebede, one of Uganda's top wildlife vets, told us this area used to be all forest. Now, villagers had planted a cornfield right up to the mouth of the bat cave, increasing the risk of spillover. As if on cue, we watched women carrying water cut through the cornfield, while school children ran home. The transfer between bats and humans, mm -hmm. it's much more likely when you've got people living so close. Exactly. The population has grown. People have moved into areas they never occupied before. It's that shrinkage of the buffer, the habitat between people and wildlife has become so narrow. So that increases the contact. We're talking about people who are now living Close. right on the edge exactly. of the impenetrable forest. Exactly. Governments cannot stop people from moving in some of these areas because they have nowhere else to go. Bats are known to carry coronaviruses, the same virus family that spawned COVID-19, as well as lethal Ebola viruses. 